Hello friends and welcome to another video lecture from Architects Academy. Today we are going to learn about timber roofs. In timber roofs you will see that there are basically three categories single roofs, double roofs and triple roofs. These categories are based on the main structural members which are used in the roofs. In single roofs you will see that only one structural member, main structural member is used that is the rafter. In double roofs there are two members, one is rafter and the other is purlin. In triple roofs there are rafters, purlins and truss. Now single roofs themselves are divided into three parts couple roof, closed couple roofs and collar roofs. So we will be learning about all these three types of roofs in this presentation. Now this particular presentation is part one of the timber roofs which will deal with couple roof. So let us first see the components of couple roof. The components of couple roof are wall plate, rafters, ridge piece, battens and tiles. Now if you look at these components in this particular sketch you will see that the inclined members here, this member and this member, these are called as the rafters. The rafters are fixed at the top to this particular piece which is called as the ridge piece while at the bottom they are connected to the wall plate which is a member timber member which runs along the entire length of the wall. So there is one wall plate here and there is another wall plate here. Now the rafters are bird's mouth joint to the wall plate which means that this particular type of joint will prevent the rafter from sliding down. We will see more about this joint in the next slide. On top of the rafters you will see that the members which you see here which are at approximately 300 center to center are called as battens. These battens are members which run across at right angles to the rafters. The battens actually help in holding the clay tiles. So what you will see is that the tiles like Mangalore tiles are put on top of the batten and these tiles are overlapped on each other. The last batten which you will see here is called as the fillet batten. The function of the fillet batten is to maintain the slope of the tiles. The fillet batten has got a slightly more height than the other battens the extra height is equal to the thickness of the tile. Now when water flows down all along the tiles it falls into a galvanized iron gutter which you see here. The galvanized iron gutter is supported by the gutter bracket as you can see here. These brackets are approximately 900 mm apart while as the GI gutter runs along the entire length of the roof. At the top of the roof you will see that there is a special type of tile which is used which is called as the ridge tile. This ridge tile covers the joint between the two slopes of the roof. Now the next slide is showing you the same type of roof which is the couple roof in plan. Let us try to see all the members in plan. What you are seeing at the top is the ridge piece. The ridge piece runs along the entire length of the roof. What you can see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like this, these are the rafters seen from the top. The rafters are spaced at around 450 center to center. On top of the rafters, what you can see here, perpendicular to the rafters, these are the battens. These battens are used to fix the tiles on the roof. 
at the bottom of the roof that is at the eaves you will see that there is a continuous gutter which is called as the GI gutter. The GI gutter is supported on gutter brackets as you can see here which are spaced roughly around 900 center to center. So this is how the couple roof is going to be seen in plan. Now let us try to see the more details about the couple roof by looking at a three dimensional sketch. Now in the three dimensional sketch again we will see all the components of the couple roof. At the top here what you can see is the ridge piece. At the bottom you can see the wall plates. The inclined members are the rafters. The members which are perpendicular to the rafters and which fix the tiles are called as the battens. The last batten which you see here and here is called as the fillet batten. The topmost tile is called as the ridge tile. What you see here is the GI gutter which is running along the length of the wall. What you see here are the gutter brackets which are placed approximately at 900 center to center. Now if you look at the span of this particular roof, you will see that the span has a limitation of a maximum of 3.5 meters. The reason for this is that the rafters are going to tend to slide down and when they tend to slide down they are going to put a load on the wall and there is a tendency of the wall to overturn. So if the span increases beyond 3.5 meters the load would also increase and therefore there would be a tendency of the walls to topple. Now let us try to see what is meant by the bird's mouth joint. As I told you the bird's mouth joint is made to prevent the tendency of the rafter to slide down. In this particular sketch you can see that the rafter is just kept on top of the wall plate without any joint. You can easily understand that this rafter will have a tendency to slide down and the wall plate will not be able to stop the sliding action. So what is done is that the rafter is cut in the form of the beak of a bird and this is formed into what is called as a bird's mouth joint. As a result of this bird's mouth joint you can see that the, the tendency of the rafter to slide is prevented. Now when you make a cut inside the rafter you will see that the cut is only made up to a depth of about one third the depth of the rafter and not more than that. Because if we made, make a bigger cut in the rafter that will weaken the rafter. So this is how the bird's mouth joint is formed and this is the reason for forming the bird's mouth joint. So this is the end of the first part of the lecture on roofs which was concerned with couple roofs. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you. To subscribe to our entire video lecture series, drop a mail on architectsacademy at gmail.com or call on 98200-85841 or 98220-88319. You can also visit our website at www.architectsacademy.org to find out more information about the courses that we run. You are welcome to visit our academy at the address given below. Thank you.